Well, hello there, and welcome to what is probably going to be a fairly short series for the time being. You're in prison, and this is Prison Architect, made by Introversion, the same guys who made Uplink, Multiwinia, Darwinia, Defcon. Um, they've been working on this game for quite some time, and supposedly, I'm pretty sure they mentioned this, it is inspired by Dwarf Fortress. There, there's only a few similarities so far, but I think once I start playing, you'll see the, um, you'll see where they borrowed from Dwarf Fortress and created something else. It is a very interesting game. <laughs> it is Prison Architect. And yes, this is us. Here, we are the god, the overviewer. A call from the CEO is coming in. The game dumps you in right away. Uh, it's still very early. It's an alpha, I believe. It's something like eight months to a year away from release. So, there's a lot of very rough things with it. A lot of bugs, a lot of glitches, a lot of fun. Let's see, this is a tough one. This is the tutorial. I don't know if I'm going to do the tutorial, but we'll see. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. The opposite of a birthday. This is where I want the new facility to be built. The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself, with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. So let's get started. Construct a new building here. We will also need an entrance to the new execution facility. Build a large gel door into the south wall. So, they want us to build... Um, this is the tutorial. I guess I'll, I'll go over it. But we need to build a foundation and then a building. So you just click and drag like this. And then under objects, you choose large gel door and place it right there. And you're needy, aren't you, CEO? And your workers will go build it. Mm -hmm. Your workmen are responsible for construction of buildings. They'll collect the steel and concrete from this storeroom and take it to the construction site. They'll use those raw materials to build the foundations and framework of your new building. This is the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead when building new facilities. While we wait, take a look around. Use the arrow keys and blah 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 to move in and out. Yeah, you can see they um, these pipes and everything don't really mean anything. Uh, we'll be placing pipes and everything later on. But yeah, this is a general basic prison layout. You need offices. You got the warden's office, the chief's office, the foreman's office. Uh, they need to be fairly secured in case the prisoners break out and do anything. Inside the building, I want a jail cell and an execution room. Partition the space by constructing some brick walls. So yeah, under materials, this is all the stuff you can build. It costs different values, does different things, has different walking speeds. But we just want brick walls like this. And there we go. And they'll go build it all soon enough. But we've got individual prison cells for uh, our boys here. Looks like that guy might have had a shank. Gibbs. He would cause trouble. Aston Gibbs. Got my eye on you, Gibbs. Uh, for, for now, I don't believe you can actually check on the prisoners, but later on they're all going to have their own um, personalities and their own different looks and everything. I, again, I'm not sure how in-depth they plan to go with all of this, so I don't want to say too much yet. Now add large gel doors to those dividing walls. You can rotate an object before placement by clicking the middle mouse button. 
But yeah, I don't know how much they actually plan to add to the game. And I don't want to overhype anything for you guys. I'll put the link to everything down in the description. You can check it out yourself. The demo, um, getting the alpha is not free. You do have to pay for it. Uh, at least I don't think it's free, not, not legit free. I'm sure if you're... Yeah. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Um... But it is nice to support them, because they are a small company. And they don't seem to milk everything they do. And I don't think they've ever had DLC, so... Let's see, we built those doors. That's looking good. We now need to designate rooms within those spaces. Designate a cell in the smaller area, where our condemned inmate will live. Then designate the execution room itself in the larger area. Under rooms, these are all of the rooms that we can um, design and lay out. And we don't, we don't need all of them right away, but they all do serve a purpose. So, we'll make that the cell. That's the execution room. And they tell you what they need if you hover over the triangles here. Those new rooms have requirements before they become functional. The cell needs a bed and a toilet. And the execution room requires the electric chair. Oh yeah. So the electric chair, we'll place that in the center. Place a bed there. And a toilet like that. There we go. Let's see. I I can't use utilities. Utilities is how you place electric and uh, water pipes. You can't just build things and have them automatically be hooked up to the grid. You have to designate it yourself. Ah, phone booths. Um, I did set those things to be installed, right? Let's see. I think there might actually be a wall behind this. If you look through the bars, it looks like there's... there's walls through there. Hmm. Again, it is kind of buggy still. Let's see. I think I would need to put... Can't put paving stone there. No, they're coming. Can they actually get through there? Okay, they can. I don't know what I'm talking about, apparently. I've made a lot of mistakes before I recorded this, so I'm a little bit paranoid about everything is what it is. This is not going to be smooth sailing once things get started, because we do not start off with a prison built for us. It's the CEO again. That's the essentials taken care of, but there are still a few improvements you could make. It's up to you, though. These aren't strictly required. It depends how much you care about your prisoners and their environment. Oh, really? The cell itself could be improved with an outward-facing window. And a small bookshelf. And the facility would look better with a higher quality floor material. Like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. Outside, you could add some lighting. And a paved pathway if you think it needs it. I don't think I'll be doing that here, though. Oh, my son... This is the man in question, Edward Romsey, a teacher once, <laughs> would you believe? It's not our place to decide if he deserves this, though. The law has made that decision already. We're just here to do a job, so don't get emotionally attached to anything. Once you're satisfied the facility is ready, you can begin the prisoner transfer to his new cell. Simply click on him to select him, then right-click just outside his cell to initiate the transfer. Okay. Um, there we go. We'll send him there. The priest was le reading him his last rites. That's kind of cool. Well, mustache man, you knew it was a felony in this country to have a mustache. Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone-cold mustache rider, guilty as charged. He even confessed, 
<laughs> you want to hear his description of what he did? It's juicy stuff. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew that she was home. So I grabbed a razor and shaved my beard into a mustache. <laughs> That's right, I did it. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to judge me, punk? I don't care. I'm already a dead man. Dead on the inside. Dead on the upper lip. <sighs> but this is how it really went down. I knew I'd catch you two here. Edward, I... Don't. Just don't. What are you going to do? Oh, you know what I'm going to do. Just like that. Well, time for some ice cream. I think I'll just go down the street here. I want something with sprinkles. Clearest day, if you ask me. Deserves every vault he's gonna get. All men deserve forgiveness. Even him. Are you so sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment? <laughs> you catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. And he went there with a loaded gun, knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. This state is making an example of him. If he'd committed his crime 100 miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when I know he is gone. Oh, what do you got, CEO? Good work so far. However, there is one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet because it doesn't have any power. We need to connect it to the electricity supply. Here we go. got our generators up here. We are now viewing the prison in utilities mode, which shows us the electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electrical cables. The power is provided to the prison by this substation, which draws electricity from the national grid. Some places, though, have bikes peddled by the prisoners that power the place. As you can see, this entire wing of prison cells is without power. All of the lights are out. To fix this problem, we first need to switch into utilities mode to understand why the lights are without power. Which is actually fairly straightforward. They don't have any power. The nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can't complete the wiring in this area. Extend the electrical cables, cable cable covers to cover everything. To cover everything. Okay, so I think we just need to drive this one straight down to there. And then maybe down like that. And then let's check that out. We'll see how they build that. Oh yeah, it is lunchtime. Delicious. I think they even got bacon in there. Patties. Bowls of soup. Yeah, you can zoom way in. Who the hell gave them forks? Oh, I guess we'll be fine. Kitchen. Hmm. I need to take notes on this design how they've got everything set up, because all of the prisons that I've built so far are horrible. 
There we go. How many guards do I have? 21 guards on duty. That's pretty amazing. We've already got power hooked up. Wow, that was quick. Quicker than I thought. Lines, lights aren't the only hiccups that need power. Your new electric chair does too. Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. I already did. The electric chair itself is a special type of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power line. You'll need to connect it up directly with mains cables. Already on top of it. Because I be smart. I are smart. We are almost done, I think. We should test the new execution room at least once before we try to use it, though. You know, I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds. Make sure everything's okay. Huh. Well, that didn't work. Looks like we drew too much power and tripped a circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prison is dark. We're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair generates. And how do we do that? First, we need to turn the power back on. This is a two-step process, so listen up. Step one, switch each capacitator back on, capacitor back on by clicking on them in utilities mode. Step two, power the station back up. Then build three more capacitors. And once you've done that, test the electric chair again. So... I kind of like that that's hands-on. Might become a pain in the ass later on. So we'll switch that on and one, two, three. There we go. <sighs> Once they get those built, we'll go test the chair. And you can see the draw right on the side there. It's already in. I was going to say it's already in the red, but the whole damn thing is always red, I believe. We'll see. It might turn green or yellow as it lowers down. But, the electric chair would probably just spike it all the way through the roof there. We're lucky the damn thing didn't blow and catch the building on fire. All we need is one more. And yes, we have to pay every day. Every 24 hours, we have to pay things. There's different grants you can take. The grants um, give, you di give you different objectives. But they pay you. I believe it's the main way of making money. I have way too many cooks, I believe. Here we go. It's a screw job. Get that capacitor in there. I must feel sorry for Edward Ramsey or Ramsey, whatever his name was. The electric chair is an awful machine. Okay, throw the switch. Switch on. There we go. Well done. I believe we're finished with this job. What happens now is out of our hands. We did a professional job, and that's important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. After all, you're not the one who committed the murders. <laughs> Does he really have Jesus on a cross there? That is awesome. My son, have you come to ask for forgiveness? Can I help you? <sighs> Are you looking for forgiveness? How did I know? I don't know. I have to do something. 
I can't live with the things I've done, Father. You must turn yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot evade the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you, no matter what you have done, if you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eyes of the law. There is no other way. You will obey the law of the land. It is time, Edward. You have done the right thing even though this world were not to forgive you for it. Looks like they gave him a bunkmate too on his last night. You will be with God soon, and he will have the final judgment on you. May God have mercy on you. Because that chair surely will not. Don't forget to wet the sponge. Do you have any final words, Edward? The, the, the ice cream was good. But it could have used more sprinkles. Edward Romsey, you've been found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Susan? I'm sorry. At least it's peaceful now. So, that's the tutorial, that's the introduction. Um, now we can create a new prison. Let's see, small, medium, or large. I'm just gonna go with a small prison for now. And, um, here we go. Let's pause it. Our prison is this large. Starts off on a completely empty plot of land. Uh, the first thing that's arriving is a group of our workmen. And um, we also have a delivery pad here. And a garbage pad here. And where we go from here is entirely up to us now. Um, oh boy. I think that I will save all of that for the next video though. This was a fairly lengthy little introduction video. But this is the game uh, Prison Architect by Introversion. And, um, I am kind of excited about the next few videos. Again, I don't know how many videos of this I'm going to do. This is a kind of a personal project for me, not a, a rewarding the rewarders thing. I did have somebody ask for this, but I actually plan to play this game um, from the first time I saw it. So, it doesn't count. And I will see you guys in the next video, whenever we'll get started on transforming this barren landscape into um, Rhode Island's smallest prison, because that's where I'm going to say we're at. It should be fun.